Well, you guys know I'm wild about electric vehicles, so I had to come to the uh, Wallbox booth to talk to Douglas Alfaro about uh, electric vehicle charging. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so we're Wallbox. We're a company based in Barcelona, Spain. We are a European leader in the EV market for EV chargers, but we're bringing our products for the first time to the U.S. And we're starting first with the Pulsar Plus. This is our best-selling product in Europe because it's a super connected product. It's connected with your Google Home, your Alexa, so you can set it to charge. We also have an Apple Watch app where you can lock, unblock, use your different, uh, use your different, uh, view your different stats. Obviously, this one has not charged yet. And so when, when you connect this, you can unblock the charger and then plug it in. Okay, one second. Oh, he just locked it. There's a lot of uh, interference here. It's uh, every every Wi-Fi cellular thing is going to fail. Just just so you know. That might be. Oh no, there it is. There it is. Yeah. So once we have this set up, you basically unlock it, and then you can take the handle and plug it in. He just unlocked it with his watch, and I'm gonna. There we go. And I'm going to plug it in here. That looked great. And then you can see it's very intuitive. The colors start pulsing as well as the pulsar. So. Okay, so uh, how many kilowatts or yes, what's is, the unit here? Yeah, this is a 40 amp unit, so it's capable of 9.6 kilowatt output. And so this is capable. It's tiny for, though. It's yeah, like the it's size of a tiny. Kleenex box. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the aspects of our company. So we do all of the design, the development, and we manufacture it in-house in Spain. So it's a European product. We focus a lot on the aesthetics and the design. And so we also want to make it super compact because we use less material. We can get the price points lower, but also use less materials and it's more sustainable that way. I might be able to mount that to the wall. <laughs> I had to hire somebody to mount ours. I assume, I'm going to ask Steve a question. You said it was 9.6 kilowatts? Kilowatts? 9.6 kilowatts. Or kilowatts. And what is ours, Steve? Any memory on that? We are at 50 amps. We're at 50 amp circuit. So uh, be, uh, a little bit over. That would be something like a 12 kilowatt or something. Okay. 11 kilowatts. Okay, so this is pretty pretty hefty. Exactly. Even though yeah. it's so For tiny. It's compact size, exactly. Yeah. All right. So then uh, let's take a look. You've got the Quasar over here. All right, we've run over to the other side of the booth, and we're looking at the Quasar bi-directional charger. Now, this thing, this thing's a lot bigger, hanging on the wall there. I don't. What does this do? Yeah, so this is actually a, a world first. So this is the first bi-directional charging station for your home, and so what this allows you to do is not only charge your car, but use the energy from the car, from the battery, to power your home, or send energy back onto the grid. And so what? it allows you to use your car as an energy resource instead of just an energy consumer. So would this be just if you were in some emergency situation, like uh, you lost power in the house? Well, actually, the day-to-day -day, uh, use case is that maybe you have solar panels, you want to pr prioritize charging your car. Maybe you want to use your car for, for example, you come home from work, you want to set a washer or a dryer, and it's a big no-no to set it during peak hours, but maybe you can actually just power that using your car. Wow. And uh, then you charge it during when time is cheaper. And so you can use a little bit of that case. Something tells me the power companies aren't going to let you do that in the United States. Oh. oh, they actually would love this product because it allows them to also have grid services. And so a utility company can tap into this and say, actually, we'd like a little bit of reserve power because we have a big surge happening. And so it will pull from a little bit from lots of different charging stations. And the EVs will actually be a contributor to the, net, to the grid. Oh, wow. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. That sounds a little too uh, happy joy joy between the companies and us. I don't know, we're usually adversarial. Oh, look at that display. That's beautiful. 46 kilowatts, 32% there. 4.6, uh, uh, but you, right. can in, you can increase. So this is actually negative is discharge, but you can increase it with just gestures. So you can increase it to max output here. So, so those on audio, he's waving his hand and it's going up and up and up. Okay. Yeah. And you could also set it to discharge, but this process is automatic. So it has a it has a management system, an energy management system that will basically do all of this without any thinking. It will talk to your solar panels, it will talk to your car, it will talk to your home, and it will talk to the utilities and be able to discharge or charge the car or even increase or decrease the power based on what's most beneficial for your home, for the grid, or for the car. Wow, that is really, really interesting. Steve, did you have any other questions? I uh, thought he might, but uh, this is very cool. So this is the Quasar. The company is called Wallbox, and where would people find out about it? Wallbox.com. 
And we uh, have a website. are these on the market in the U.S. yet? In the U.S., no. So we're launching these this year. These are available in Europe at the moment, but we're bringing them to the U.S. around mid-year for Pulsar Plus and end of year for Quasar. We're okay, doing well, all we, got, we got European customers too. And uh, what's your price point on these? So for this charging station, this is typically... Quasar. Yeah, for Quasar. This is typically available at tens of thousands of dollars in a large format like a refrigerator in fleet depots. So we're taking that technology and shrinking it down by size for home application. So that allows us to get to a price point of below $4,000 for this, which can also bi-directionally charge. And you can also participate in programs with utilities that pay you for that capacity. Very good, so very good. Payback. And how about the Pulsar Plus? And the, the Pulsar one. Plus is 649 so it's a very economical price point and super high tech for, that, for the price. Very good. Thank you very much. This is really interesting. Yeah, thank you.